to a new vlog. I figured we would start a weekend in my life. I want to be consistently vlogging more in 2023, so today is Friday. Mainly on the agenda today, I need to go to Trader Joe's like desperately. I also have a lot of editing to do, so I'm thinking I'm going to go to a coffee shop to do that, but I also need to declutter. So we're going to do that at some point this weekend. I'm going to start my declutter journey. I'm thinking I want to go through at least my highlighters. We're going to start there. Maybe even blushes too because I need to declutter a bit in 2023 in terms of my makeup collection, but also just in my life. Just last week, okay, so I was really sick last week. I talked to you guys about that. Like I didn't leave my house for basically a week. And the first few days of like being sick, I obviously like wasn't even leaving my bed because I was very sick. But by the end of it, I was just a little bit restless in my room. So I cleaned out my closet. If you've seen my room tour before, you know I have two closets, but I cleaned this one out. And then that other closet that's over there is mostly like YouTube equipment, whether that's lighting or products, whatever it is, like everything is in there. But this closet is my personal closet with my clothes and I went through it color coordinated it which was so satisfying and i decluttered a bunch of stuff that i hadn't worn in a while took it to goodwill so i got that decluttered and now i need to keep this momentum up and i want to declutter some of my makeup this is definitely like the january energy it really does that too where you're like hmm, i need to clean everything out so that's on the agenda today but before i go to trader joe's i'm really excited to say that this portion of the vlog is sponsored by brooklinen and i'm gonna give my bed a makeover so i've got some new sheets they actually came in such a cute little box so i'm really excited to put these on my bed if you are not familiar with brooklinen they offer luxury high quality sheets at an affordable price point and they have over 20 different colors and patterns that you can choose from like the duvet cover we'll be putting on today is the window pane and you have these like really subtle little it's like checkered almost and these are so soft you guys and brooklinen is giving you a discount code you can get twenty dollars off an order of 100 dollars or more with my code kelly g so i have the core sheet set this includes the flat sheet fitted sheet and two pillowcases so instead of buying them individually when you buy them in the bundle you actually save 25 percent and this style is kind of made for someone who sleeps hot which you guys i sleep with a fan regardless of the temperature like it could be 10 degrees and i will still turn on my fan so that's right up my alley so let's put these on my bed vegetables and stuff I feel like I have enough like staple things already like pastas and all that kind of stuff but I got mini potatoes I never get these but I think these are so cute and I'm gonna smush these bake them and then probably like throw them in a salad I also got stuff for smoothies I always get a bag of spinach and then just immediately put it in my freezer because I only use it for smoothies I can't tell if I'm blurry right now, but I also got the frozen pineapple tidbits. These are my favorite. I got some berries. I always get some type of fresh berries. My favorite are raspberries, but I like to have these for breakfast and a parfait with some cashew yogurt, granola, and whatnot. Um, I am vegetarian. I think almost everything I got today is vegan, though. I eat like mostly vegan, but I'm technically a vegetarian. This Okay guys, this is such a staple for me. I highly recommend it. It is the vegetable stir fry, but the zucchini one. I always have this in my freezer and then I will just make it. I'll fry up some tofu, add a little bit of this, and then you can serve that with rice or quinoa. It's so good. So I always have to have this. Some more tofu. This is super firm. I usually like right away just cut this up and put it in my freezer because I think tofu tastes better 
well the texture is better if you freeze it and then thaw it so i normally do that i've never had the teriyaki tofu so i kind of want to have this i might have this for lunch today with like a salad also i haven't gotten this in a bit but this was my favorite thing ever for a while there this is the vegetable garden hash it is pre-cut with a ton of different vegetables which i like these type of things at trader joe's because otherwise like i'm just cooking for one if i were to buy all these vegetables individually like they're gonna go bad before i eat them so i like to buy them like pre-cut like this these i've never tried but i feel like they look really good so these are the habanero and lime tortillas they're just like little wraps so i don't know if maybe i'll make this with like some hummus and then vegetables I don't know. I'm not sure what I, how I'm going to make these, but I'm excited. I got a sweet potato. I got an apple. Also, this sourdough is my favorite thing. I never am without this. Like, I always have the Trader Joe's sourdough in my fridge. I got a cucumber and some bananas. And then these are my other favorite, these sparkling apple cider vinegar drinks. I like to have one of these in, like, a cocktail glass, so I feel like I'm having a little treat. They're so yummy. And then, I'm so excited about this. These are the sea salt brownie bites. I kind of want to just have one right now. Let's do a taste test. Mmm, not good. Um, ooh. I mean, it tastes like a regular brownie, I guess, but it is a little salty. That's pretty good. That would be really good with ice cream. Okay, I kind of want another one. Okay, so, so that's what I got at Trader Joe's. I need to put this stuff away. But I, like I said, I mostly needed to just stock up on fruits and vegetables and like fresh things like that. I feel like I have a lot of other stuff still, but this will keep me going throughout the weekend. It is Saturday morning now. You guys, let me tell you, sleeping on those sheets last night, I felt like I was at a hotel, but I'm doing my skincare. I've already done like, <clears throat> I've done like a moisturizing serum and then moisturizer. And then I waited a bit so I can do some sunscreen. I think I'm going to use this, you guys. I think this was discontinued and I'm sad because I actually really like this sunscreen. This is from the Ulta Beauty Collection. It's called the Shine Bright Brightening Moisturizer with Sunscreen. Actually, let me see. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere on their website. I was looking for it yesterday because my friend had texted me asking for a sunscreen recommendation. And I was going to say this one. The only thing I didn't like about this is that... It's like very, very fragranced, but normally my go-to sunscreen is this one, the SPF 30 Clearing Defense from Clear Start, which is like the acne prone line from Dermalogica. That is normally my go-to. It's a nice like kind of matte moisturizer that if you're acne prone and oily, like you'll probably love that one. But my skin has been so dry lately, like I'm peeling a little bit that I didn't want to do a matte sunscreen today i'm like i need something a little bit glowier also i dyed my hair last night um this keeps wanting to focus on my reflection in the mirror versus my actual face i just added some highlights because well when i got my hair done a few months ago i i normally do more of like a balayage like a grown out type of look because i feel like then when it actually does grow out it, it blends really well but when i got my hair done most recently we did the highlights all the way up to the root, which looks nice, but when they grow out, you have more of like a prominent line of demarcation. So it was starting to bother me because when I would put my hair in a ponytail, I had like two inches of roots and then it went right into the highlights and it just didn't blend really well. So I mostly wanted to go in last night and just add to some spots, kind of like brighten it up a bit. And I know you guys are going to be like, why didn't you vlog that? <laughs> I know. Anytime I cut my hair, because I also cut it a little bit, I added some layers. I need to style it just to see how it's all going to look. But whenever I cut or color my hair, I want to vlog it. But trying to do that on camera is already really hard. And it's already a little nerve-wracking to be doing your own hair. And I'm so nervous that if I'm trying to like coordinate getting the camera angles right, it's going to throw me off because I'm going to be focusing on that. And I'm always scared I'm going to mess up my hair. So, unfortunately, I did not record that. Okay, at some point today, I need to do my nails. They're, like, chipping off really bad. <laughs> I also do want to do that declutter either today or tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. 
in my head I'm like I can't do the declutter until I paint my nails which I know you guys wouldn't mind you're like girl just have chip nails that's real life maybe I'll just film it with my chip nails it's just gonna bother me I know it wouldn't really bother anyone else but it's gonna bother me but I do want to go through my highlights maybe we'll do that this morning and then tonight I'm really excited my roommate and I are gonna get dinner we want like ramen or something we were planning to go last weekend and then I was sick and then I didn't go and now it's not necessarily the right weather. It's a little warm for that, but I think we're still gonna go tonight and I'll probably try to vlog a little bit of that. But you know what, let's do, let's do the declutter now. Now I'm in the zone, I'm kind of in the mood to declutter. We'll just ignore the nails. Okay, this is the drawer. And honestly, I kind of need to declutter a bit of all of these, but the section I am wanting to declutter the most, highlights, like, I, I just, I don't use too many highlights anymore. I also have some highlights up here. This drawer is all cream products, so maybe we'll go through those also. And maybe I need to declutter blushes. Also in the back here, these are just like brushes that I'm not using right now. Half these are dirty and they need to be washed. But let's start with highlights and see where we're at. This feels risky to be doing on my white bed sheets, but we're gonna do it. Okay, first of all, I have two from REM and these I'm automatically gonna keep because these are one of my favorite formulas. These are some of the only products from REM that have really worked for me. I have the shade Miss Mercury and then this one, you guys, the shade, I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know if they did this on purpose trying to be funny or they didn't think of it, but this shade is called Miss Uranus and it's kind of like a pink, but I like it as a blush topper. I think it's really pretty. Like, let me show you a swatch. Do you see that? I try to keep the lights a little dark just because I want you to actually see the highlight and not to be like blown out. Let me show you the other shade. You see this formula, it's like not that pigmented. They're almost a little sheer in terms of texture, but they just have this subtle glow. Like you don't really see much on the skin. It's not a thick highlight, which I really, really love this formula. Okay, then I have this one from Fenty. I will probably keep this. This is like one of those split pans that they have. This has the shades Mean Money and Hustla Baby. I do have a video I can leave linked down below where I reviewed like every Fenty product that I have. And for me, the highlights are just okay. Maybe I should declutter it, I don't know, I do like it. I like that this side is a little bit more subtle. Can you see, I just went out of um, the focus there, but it's right there. It's pretty subtle on the one side. And then on this side, it's a little more intense. But this is like almost too dark for me. I don't know. Hmm. It's very golden. Maybe we'll just come back to that. That could be a maybe. Next, I can't get rid of this. I can't. This is Becca Champagne Pop. Especially now that this is no longer a brand, you can still buy this product from Smashbox because they now sell a few of Becca's old products. But this is so pretty. Cannot get rid of that. Ooh, you might be thinking, where is my Essence Highlighter? I really liked the Essence Highlighter formula that came out last year, but mine, I dropped the other day on accident and it completely shattered, so I had to throw it away. But one I can see already that I want to declutter is this. I've had this for so long and I do have Pan in this shade. This is from Pixie. it's their Glowy Gossamer Duo. I used to love this formula, but this I would say is more intense and a little bit thicker than I tend to prefer for highlights. I like something of really lightweight these days, so this is not really my jam anymore. So this one I'm gonna declutter. This one I'm debating decluttering, not because I don't love it, because I really do love this. This is from Persona, this is the shade Zuma. I also have Laguna, that one's in my Project Pan, so that's over with my Project Pan items. But the thing about Zuma, you can see it's pretty dark and it's, I almost feel like I should declutter it just because I am never tan enough anymore to wear a shade like this. Like I really don't self tan anymore. And I don't know, this is gonna be a maybe. We'll think about that. Next, this is from Flower Beauty. This one's really cool. I could not declutter this. This is Day Glow. It's like a balmy highlighter. Like I just think this is such a cool concept. It's, it's this one, I don't mean to flip you off, but it's, that's on this finger. This, I'm running out of room, but it doesn't really have much shimmer to it. It's just a balm. And it's not my favorite type of product, but I really enjoy this formula. Like Persona Cosmetics has a balm stick 
that personally I didn't like. For me, this is that type of product, but executed better. So I'm definitely keeping that. Um, okay, this one for sure have to keep. I love this one from Nabla. This is their skin glazing formula. It's a baked formula. So again, very lightweight, similar to the REM ones. Oh my gosh, it keeps trying to focus on there. Hopefully that helped. It was trying to focus on the face from the Mary Luminizer. So that's that. So pretty. Um, okay, this is tough because NYX High Glass, I really did love, and this is actually discontinued now. It's such a pretty, like, putty highlight. Like, it is such a beautiful, balmy formula, but I'm also like, hmm, I need to declutter some of these. Should I declutter this one? Would this be a good option to declutter? Maybe. I also have this Catrice More Than Glow highlight, which I like a lot, but I'm like, do I need this many? And this one, as you can see, it's pretty bold. I like how pink it is, but like, it's pretty bold. Maybe I'll declutter this one. This is a little bit more metallic than I tend to prefer in highlights these days, so I think I'll declutter that one. And then, oh, I kind of almost want to declutter Mary Lou. Like, I want to keep her for sentimental value, but this is not really my preference in highlights anymore either. Here, I gotta move these out of frame because I feel like it wants to focus on those, but it's just a little bit... Mm, hmm, this is tough. Let me look. These are all in the maybe pile. Like for sure have decluttered these two with the Catrice and the Pixie. These are all maybe. Honestly, hmm. I want to keep Persona because I love this as an eyeshadow. So that one I'll keep. I, I'm thinking I might declutter Fenty to be honest. Even though I do like this, it's a good highlight. It's pretty. But I don't tend to prefer a gold highlight like this too often. Oh, but here I am rethinking it. Like, maybe I should keep it because I don't have too many golds. But you know what? Uh, no, maybe I'll keep it. Okay, this is hard. You know what? Don't be mad. Don't be mad. I'm going to keep all of them. Yeah. I do also have a highlight from Sigma that's in my everyday makeup drawer right now. That one, obviously, I'm going to keep. I adore that highlight. And then maybe in a few months if i still feel like i haven't reached for these three like i'm gonna try to observe how often i'm reaching for them the fenty the mary lou and the nyx and then if i'm not using them a lot then i'll declutter them but i don't want to just make a rash decision because i'm wanting to declutter a lot for the video you know i think i'll keep them for now but these two we're gonna declutter let me look at my cream highlights though Okay, we're back in this drawer. This has my cream products. I have cream blushes in here and then cream highlights and bronzers in here. And I just want to do just like a little look through here and see if anything is shouting out to be decluttered. I almost want to declutter this Milani one because it's not my favorite. But I feel like the main reason I want to keep this one, I do like it, but I don't like it as much as the Flower Beauty similar product. But I kind of want to keep this simply for comparison for videos. But this one I think I am going to declutter. This is from Grande. Grande Cosmetics. They have makeup in addition to just their very popular eyebrow and eyelash serums. But this is their Grande Glow Liquid Highlight. And it actually is really pretty. Like when I swatch it, the tough part about highlights, when you swatch them, they all look so gorgeous. So I'm like, oh, maybe I should keep all of them. But I just don't feel like I reach for this one too often. And it's a bit more sparkly than I tend to like on my cheeks. So I think I'm going to declutter this one. Okay. It was a mini declutter, but it needed to happen. And I'm getting rid of a few things that I'm not using. I do feel like sometimes with declutters, it's like I want to declutter a lot for dramatic effect. But in reality, if I love something, I'm going to use it. A declutter is a way to kind of like move out things I'm not reaching for. So I think that was pretty successful. me 
now Sunday, like early afternoon. I slept in pretty late this morning, which I don't normally do. But I'm actually working on the video that's going to go up tomorrow. Well, tomorrow from the time I'm filming this, which is going to be my brand story for Glossier. But right now I'm just working on the audio for it because I first I go in and I remove a lot of the background noise of like some of the cars and just like low rumbling in the background and then once i fix that i'm gonna start editing the video but last night you saw some clips i had dinner with my roommate which was really fun we got ramen it was so delicious i really liked the place we went it was like very small and intimate and then after that i didn't end up filming this but one of my friends from college was visiting and so i met up with her for a bit and it was really fun, really nice to see her. And today, I mostly need to get this done. I have a pimple patch on my forehead, can you see this? I got this big pimple that just like came out of nowhere and I didn't pop it, which I normally don't do, but this one I could not resist, so I did pop it. But today I'm gonna mostly just work on this video. I think this edit is actually probably gonna take me a while, so that's what I'll be likely doing for most of the afternoon. Maybe at some point I will maybe try to go for a walk just to get outside for a bit but it's supposed to rain today yeah it says it's about to start raining any minute and then it's supposed to rain like all next week pretty much but okay time to edit this video okay i made a very easy little buffalo chickpea sandwich for lunch and i wish i had um celery because i think that would have been even better on this to pair with the buffalo but I just put some cucumbers on because I wanted a little bit of crunch. I put that on some sourdough and that's lunch. Okay, I think this is where we're gonna end the vlog. Tilly and I have been loving sleeping on our Brooklyn and sheets all weekend. And if you wanna get your own, be sure to use code Kelly G for $20 off. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next.